All right, guys, good afternoon, morning, night, whatever you may be when you're watching this. Um, one of the projects coming up here is uh, I've got a buried water line somewhere right about there. there and I plan on running water all the way out to the garden so right now I'm currently having to run a hose from that spigot right there and I've always got a hose laying right through here it's always annoying because I got to mow around it so my goal is I've already got one of those frost proof proof hydrants and I'm gonna stick one here right at the corner and then so that's about, uh, I don't know, 50 or so foot of water, a hose that I don't have to run. And then I'm gonna go right across over there to that corner and put another spigot. That way I have water on both sides of the garden. So that's what my plans are. And uh, here before too long, I'm going to have to uh, start getting the garden tilled up and ready for this growing season. So, a couple things that I have, yeah, it looks like I got junk laying around, and well, <laughs> most of the pot time I do, but uh, I'll show you uh, an affordable way to do a greenhouse, and uh, it's using these sliding glass doors here, and uh, the, the frame of it is right here, so I'm gonna have to put some more wood around that. But uh, it's amazing what you can do with a little bit of painter's plastic, uh, five cattle panels, and uh, a little bit of wire. You can make a heck of a greenhouse for pretty cheap. Well, I'll probably start trying to maybe dig it today. It's uh, supposed to be 64 degrees today, and it's Valentine's Day, so try to make the, make the most of the day. There's a little bit of chill on that wind though so I ran water line all the way out there to the barn straight as a string from right here so if I follow that line all the way out here I should have a water line somewhere right in here and uh, as long as I don't bust it I'll be able to tie into it real easy
about 30 minutes of digging. Kind of got what I accomplished, so I have got about a two foot trench. I'm probably well below frost line here. I don't need to go near this deep, but uh, there's no sense in trying to come back and fix it later if it if it's, gets froze up. So I am out to the corner edge of the garden now, and now I've got decisions, decisions. Do I want to stay out of my garden and keep all this nasty red clay dirt out of my garden and go down the edge of it here and then right angle it over to the end or do I want to go straight across? I don't know yet. So I'm gonna think on that a little bit, but isn't that uh, BH92 awesome? I'll tell you what, it's not, it's not a professional grade tobacco because the one thing that I do have a gripe on it with is the uh, the hydraulic flow to it. You know, it's only got one feed line, continuous loop, which is my tractor's only got a nine gallon a minute pump. But uh, so when I'm trying to swing to the side and then dump the bucket all at the same time, it's it's fighting over oil flow. So that's the one gripe I have on it. You know, I'll trade up later on in life to something bigger, but uh, I absolutely love this thing. Can you imagine trying to hand dig this with a shovel? Yep, wouldn't be doing it. So, anyways, so here's a record of uh, what I've got dug for later on in life. You can always come back to this and uh, check how my water lines ran out there. So, all right, next step. Because I'm not going to hook it in today or tomorrow, I'm going to leave this little strip of ground from here to. Oh, probably here. I've got to go find the photos of where I took pictures of the where the actual line is. But uh, that will help me gauge where I need to stop in here and then start searching for it with a hand shovel. Ooh, a hand shovel. Using these things, I don't know about that. I kind of like using that. Anyways, enough goofing. Time to get to work.